Welcome back. So far, we've only explored the new territories. So, as promised, let's have a look at Hong Kong Island. Today, we're going to explore Shek O, one of my favorite retreats. If Hong Kong is shaped like a frog, then Shek O is at its hind legs. Okay, we're on to Shek O Road. <clears throat> There's the beginning of uh, Dragon's Back, very nice bit of uh, trail. And talking of trails, <clears throat> Hong Kong is, well, I wouldn't say famous, but definitely getting to be known for its trails. Um, you can, yeah, as a tourist, you can stay in the city and within, you know, short and uh, cheap taxi rides, uh, you can be in some of the best and most breathtaking trails in the world. <clears throat> so to my right you might see a reservoir down there. We'll go there later on this morning after my breakfast. That's Thai Town Reservoir. Whoa, okay dude. Uh, yeah, Saturday morning rides, right? Saturday morning drives. Gotta be careful with these guys. So yeah, as I was saying, I was learning as a young man dispatch riding on a motorcycle in London. The only way to survive is to assume everybody in the road, nobody has seen you, right? You've got to treat everybody like an idiot. Uh, they're going to cross the double white line, they're going to jump out in front of you, jump out from a junction. <coughs> That's your best defence, really. Slow up a bit here, there's usually a police radar gun. Nope, not today. Oh, they, maybe they're waiting for me at the... Uh, oh, not today either. At the, at the car park. They're more of a deterrent than anything else, which I think is that's fine. But they also pull over all the cars and motorcycles with the illegal mods. So we're dropping down the hill into Sheko. This road is a new road actually. It used to be way further to the, my right. Um, and the reason why they had to shift the road is because um, to the road earlier there's, there's a quarry there. And basically the quarry chipped away, chipped away and took out the road as well. So they had to, um, yeah, uh, excavate a new Oh, just a portion anyway uh, of the new road to join up the old in this part. To, down to the my right down there in the sea at Sheko. Overcast today, it's sad. Normally it's beautiful to come out here in the autumn morning. Say, uh, it's supposed to be 22, but certainly to my thin blood, it doesn't feel like it. But of course, you know, you've got to take into account the wind chill factor. On this bike, there's absolutely zero wind protection. To the right, <coughs> you can see the very exclusive uh, Sheko Golf Club. <coughs> Definitely members only, by invitation, etc. etc. I've always wanted to uh, 
go in there. Not that I play any golf. Uh, not my game, really. Um, but to fly my remote control plane, believe it or not. I'm sure I'll be turfed up and uh, thrown in jail pretty sharp if I did that. There you go. It's, it's just beautiful. I think it's nine holes only. Um, yeah, whatever. So, coming into Sheko. I just go, normally I stop ahead here where my cafe is. I'll quickly show you the beach. Favourite, Lulu's Cafe. Anyway, let's carry on a little bit to the beach. Right, we're at the beach. There you go, right in front of us. Let me stop. Have a quick show you. Up there, you see along that ridge, is what I said to you earlier, is Dragon's Back. Um, this time of the year, normally we get an easterly wind, and um, you get a lot of par paragliders, you know, uh, coming down from the top. A bit of a height to get up there with your backpack, I suppose, but it's worth it. Um, I think a skill pilot can stay up aloft for like, hours. Um, they're not allowed to land on this beach, although I've seen it sometimes by accident. Probably just get a slap on the wrist, but normally they're supposed to land on the back beach, we call it. Um, <clears throat> this is Sheko Beach, beautiful sand here, really soft and fluffy. Um, we've had a bit of a, a uh, landscaping exercise here when we had a massive typhoon two years ago. See all those lifeguard towers? All of them were um, not, well, not, not, not knocked over, but uh, they were certainly like look more like the leaning tower of Pisa. Uh, they were leaning over at 45 degrees or thereabouts. Um, we used to have these uh, heavy steel pontoons for swimmers to to swim out to. They were like ended up around here, um, and they've never put them back in, which is a shame, really. Uh, it's always nice to swim out to something, something to aim for, have a rest, you know, sunbathe, and swim back to the coast. <coughs> um, it's. This, normally we get bigger waves um, on the eastern side of Hong Kong. Here we go, a surfer. I guess those of you in Australia probably laugh and say, well, where's the wave, right? Um, it's enough, I suppose, to do a bit of uh, 
body surfing um, just an excuse I suppose get some fresh air oh it's actually 18 degrees it says over there no wonder it felt cooler you see the clock over there this is 18 degrees yeah well my home when I left home it said 22 but then yeah this this you know we're all sort of in the countryside right um, that's sort of Sheko village up on the hill um, very quaint Okay, left Sheko and I continue on going around the island uh, clockwise. So we're now heading down the hill towards Tai Town Reservoir. Thank you for watching. See you in episode 10. Bye.